Slow down and be here now. It sounds like the lyrics to some Simon and Garfunkel protest song from the 60s. But in actuality, it's the title to an illustrated book that kind of defies description. Hang with me and I'll explain why. Slow down and be here now. More nature stories to make you stop. Look and be amazed by the tiniest thing. It's by uh, Laura Brand with illustrations by Freya Hartas. What makes it unique from other illustrated books is that it feels very lyrical and poetic just by looking at the cover. You think to yourself it's a, it's a poetry book about plants and animals and I don't want to see that before because I've seen it and my kids don't like poetry and I kind of get that because poetry is a hard sell for me. However, the only thing lyrical about Slow Down and Be Here Now is the cover. When you open it, it gets very stemmy. Uh, like it takes a look at what's in your garden or what's in the pond behind the school. And it looks at one thing that's going to be in that ecosystem and says, here's why it's important. Here's what it does. Here is a typical day in this grasshopper. Here's what the butterfly does. Here's what this leaf is good for. It's pretty fascinating stuff because it doesn't tell a linear story, but every kid in elementary school is going to know something about everything in Slow Down and Be Here Now. It's, a, it's pretty cool. Don't think it's a poetry book just because you look at the cover and it looks soft and poetic. And it is soft and poetic. It's very pretty. But the book, the book is stemtastic. Check it out. Slow down and be here now. It's going to be for those STEM kids in elementary school. However, you sixth graders who are looking for some more advanced information in those essays you got to do, Check it out if it's gonna, if it's I'm gonna call it if it's common biology around the school or around your house, it's gonna be in there too. It is slow down and be here now.